Chip. And this is Contentment Channel. Hi everybody. And if you're new to watching us, we're basically an old couple now, starting off on a new journey, building a house and all sorts of fun stuff. Off grid. Yes. Off grid. That just means no electricity. Yeah, it means no, no utilities <laughs> of any kind except for Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, actually it means solar power, just in case you're confused as to what our off-grid notion is. We are using all propane too. Yeah, we do. We're have cheating. Propane. We're cheating, yeah. Right now. Anyway. But not for long. <laughs> and I get to have my one beer a week, so I'm <laughs> having that today. Hope you don't mind. He doesn't like it. Actually, one of the problems of living where we live is a lack of. A lack of access to good beer. Yeah, good beer. <laughs> you know, since I can only have one every once in a while. You know, I like to have a really good one, but there seems to be a, um, uh, a, a dearth of good beer available in this area. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess that's all part of living off grid, huh? I guess we have to so. learn to make our own. Yes, I've always wanted to, but the wine that we made wasn't very good. So, <clears throat> so what have we been up to? <laughs> I'll let you guess. <laughs> <laughs> work, 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 work. We've been working a lot. It's been very hot. It's been unseasonably hot. Um, on average, about 10 degrees hotter per day for the past 30 days uh, than is the normal. So it's been really hot here, I guess, uh, for contentment. And uh, the sun shines every day, you know, so it's like walking out into a roaster every day. Again. We have had some recent rains, though. We had a good rain yesterday. Uh, which was really nice. We had a good rain what, about a week ago. Mm It sure, it sure is nice to get a rain every once in a while. And then, and then even today is a really nice surprise. We're overcast, and the high is about 71 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a, that's a really nice day for us compared to what we've been having. The normal for today would be like 78 degrees. But it's been in the 80s, like 87, 88 um, but today it happens to be 71, so it's a really nice break from what we've been having. We've been where we got Dinah going, and Finally. yes, and we've been starting to dig with it, and we're working right now on the foundation because it's going to require a lot of earth movement. Yeah, that's why we got Dinah, was because we needed to move a good amount of earth. We have to cut into the hillside here a little bit. So we can cut a house pad and uh, cut a foundation. We also need to dig our septic and things like that. And mm -hmm. it has been a it's been a long slog this summer trying to get that backhoe going. We got a video coming up on her uh, and breaking ground uh, on the house pad, but that was really really a slog. She's still not fully up. I mean, she's got her good days and bad days. We've got some kind of fuel delivery problem. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get it fixed here as soon as we can. Um, another thing that I want to do by myself, but because I'm a weak old woman, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't start the chainsaw. And one of my projects that I put on my list for me to do while he was doing other things is uh, cut up the aspen wood that we bought. I didn't quite hit that very well. Did it split? Get him, Robert. Get him. Nice. But I didn't get it in the middle. It's 
It's okay, you'll get some more. Get him! <laughs> nice. I'm not very good with the chainsaw. <laughs> it's all right, you'll get the hang of it. But I can't start the thing. Well, you, you've got a good start. It flies in here. You've got a good start on it, um, and you've cut probably a cord of wood so far. What is that? How did that that fly know. Well, that door. Um, the screen. And uh, so you've got a good start on it. It's fun watching Robert chop wood. She's pretty good at it. Yeah, I haven't ever done it before, so I can get some with one little hack, but mm -hmm. a lot of it takes more than one time. Okay, I've got to kill a fly. <laughs> We're getting some good rain again, which is really nice. We're gonna shut the video off for a minute until this goes until it's passing. Okay, rain has passed, and hopefully you can hear us a little better now. It still sounds a bit like a drum in here. As we said in our last update video, we plan to add some wind power here at Contentment. We've done that. We've got a video coming up on that, uh, showing you what we did. Um, how would you? describe our upcoming wind power turbine video? Um, I don't know. I guess it's a good video because we have turbine, but uh, we don't know if we're going to get as much bang for our buck with the turbine as we thought. It'll be good in the big wind. Yeah. <clears throat> Yesterday was kind of nice because we did have quite a bit of wind, but still, that that remains to be seen, but who knows. Mm -hmm. And, oh, Go ahead. and one of the things I've been doing is cleaning up and cleaning up and cleaning up. Every time I clean something up, he tears it up again. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's nice to have you around. Well, some of the stuff I haven't been able to help him with, so. Well, that is helping. Well, I know, but like the actual work and the project. But, you know, that was... That's kind of a mess. And the puppies, oh my goodness, you can't leave anything down because they're going to get it and take it off. He, they found his glasses, and now he doesn't even know where they are. We think that they took them and his sunglasses every I time. was able to retrieve my sunglasses. They were a little beat up. But, uh, but I tell him not to leave them laying around. He needs a cord so he can just put them around his neck. See, the problem with that is... <laughs> It, I used to have one of those, and it was always in my way when I'd been to lean down or bend down to work on something, which is what I'm usually doing. So they're always in the way, and they get damaged that way. My problem is, is that my my sight is not so bad that I need to wear glasses all the time. So I'm always putting them on and taking them off, you know, to get things done. I I'm nearsighted, so I, I take them off for close work, and I put them on when I'm you know out doing things. Uh, outside, uh, but then if I'm outside, like working on Dyna and I have to work on the engine, I'll take them off because I'm doing close work. So I mean, they're always on and off, which is bad enough because that's hard on them. But then when you got dogs, you know, puppies who like to chew on everything, they'll grab those glasses, run off with them, and who knows what happened to those pair of glasses? I've got a couple other pair that are pretty beat up, but but I couldn't use in a pinch. But uh, with this COVID stuff going around, I, it's not like I can just run down to the optometrist or, you know, a one hour place or something like that and get another pair of glasses, especially out here as remote as we are. So anyway, it's partly the reason I'm not wearing glasses today. But you've been doing a great job of cleaning up. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep us organized. And as you can see, we're inside of a shell of a classic, as I call it. Shell of a class. <laughs> yeah, we we have a, a little surprise for you. Um, my brother uh, has told me that you know he really believes in what we're doing here. You know, wanting to live off grid and and change our lifestyle and things like that. And he's very supportive of us. He's he's a subscriber. He watches our videos and things like that. And it, instead of commenting in the comments, he calls me instead after he watches the video and we talk about it. But. Uh, a while back, he said, you know, I'd like to do something for you guys uh, to show my support for you. What can I do? And I said, well, you know, one of the things we could really use is a place for guests to come stay at temporarily until the house is built. And then also, we need storage. Uh, because the land use codes out here, while they're pretty loose, 
um, there are only a couple of things that they do restrict, and one of them is shipping containers. They do not allow them out here on, uh, on, on your land. I suspect that's because a lot of people who live out here on the cheap would probably live in them, and yeah. they don't want them living in them because in the winter they probably freeze to death and do popsicle. Well, that's true. In the winter you freeze to death if they're not built out mm -hmm. properly. In the summer you fry. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I mean, maybe the reason they put that in the land use code is because, um, you know, somebody died in one. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh, so you're not allowed to have a, a shipping container out here. So we're thinking, well, what can we do? Know, we can have storage for our uh, tools and supplies, materials, things like that, and also provide, you know, something like a a uh, built-out sleeping space for any guests who come. Say somebody wants to come to help or visit or, you know, something like that. So uh, my brother said I'd like to contribute toward that. And uh, it was very kind of him to do that. He provided a substantial amount of money, and thank you. You know who you are. Um, but this is what we bought. And it is a 1971 Silver Streak, you know, the Airstream type trailer. Continental Supreme. Continental Supreme, 28 <laughs> foot. And so it's, as you can see, it's just a shell inside. It's been gutted. Um, but the hull is in really good condition and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be, it'll be nice once it's built out. The chariot awaits. Oh my. <laughs> That's what I was hoping you'd say. Oh my. We can rebuild it. We have the technology. Um, we just got to take care of a couple of exterior things on it so that we can dry it in. It's got a couple of missing and beat up vents up top that tend to leak. Stuff like that. We got a couple of windows that need attention. Uh, things like that. And then, uh, as you can see, we've already started putting shelving and tables and things in here for our storage for our tools. We'll finish that. And then on the other side, which is behind the camera, closer to the prettier end where the entrance and the windows and things are, um, what are we going to do, Robert? That's going, you tell me. Uh, I'd like that's to going to be the guest suite. <laughs> and, of course, you know, this isn't a very wide uh, thing. This isn't a very wide structure, so there's not going to be a lot of room, you know, width-wise. So at that end of the trailer, we're going to enclose that part or separate that part from this end and then have um, some sort of bed. We're undecided on that yet. And a table and a chair. Or <clears throat> just a little thing. Some yeah. place for a guest to stay. If they want to come visit, stay a night, you know, or a weekend or whatever. Next summer when we're building the house, if they want to come out for and stay for a while and help, that kind of thing. A lot of people have already refurbished their trailers and things. And most of them have taken them back to as original as, as they could. Um... But I don't. Not interested. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we're gonna end up using this as maybe uh, an Airbnb or a guest place or a second, you know, another place for someone to to come stay, uh, we want it to be a little more accessible. And the old Silver Streaks had very narrow passageway, crowded with, with cabinetry cabinets, and all kinds of stuff. And two little twin beds here in the middle, and so we just want to kind of redo it to let it be a more, something more permanent instead of feeling cramped in and like you're camping. You know, a little more spacious, a little yeah. less campy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, hey, we're open to your ideas, but what about, what about theme? I mean, I don't and know style. all about theme what and about style. about style, darling? Well, we, he suggested painting, painting it in uh, 70s colors <laughs> to at least keep it a little bit uh, I mean, the time. what about a full 70s decoration? Like, what, what were, the, what were the, what were the kind of decor was the 70s known for? It was known for that Mediterranean swag lamp look. It would be nice to have a nice, a nice room for people to come stay in when they come visit. But, and including you, any of our loyal subscribers who, you know, want to come, contact us and we'll, we'll see if we can put you up, show you around. We'd love to introduce you to Contentment as long as you can keep its location a secret. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, introduce you to some of the local culture and things to do. 
and uh, of course you can see what we're doing here. Um, I know the camera, you know, the camera is very selective in that you only get to see what we want you to see. But uh, if you come out here to visit us, you'll get to see us in the raw and everything that happens. So if you care to, that is. And we could take you for a nice cheap steak dinner. <laughs> That's true. Um, so this will be an upcoming project, you know, going forward. Like I said, the back half, as you can see, we've already started to outfit it for storage and things like that. But thank you very much, brother. Uh, we appreciate this and you know who you are. One of the other projects we're working on is Dumpy, and um, Dumpy in, ended up with a brake line leak or something. Yeah, cylinders, wheel cylinders. Wheel, I don't know, some brake problem. Yeah. And so we are going to have to fix that and talk about a nightmare finding what you need to take off a double tire deal. Um, that's been, that was kind of crazy. We had to get two different uh, socket head sockets. They make one that has both in it, um, and we discovered that, but, um, but yeah, it's a bear. That would be something we'd have to order and not be able to go get locally. So I, I managed to get the wheels off, and I'm having trouble getting the axle out. The way those old uh, dump trucks are, uh, they have an axle that you know inserts from the wheel hub. It's bolted to the wheel hub and inserts into the differential. And they make axle pullers uh, for that kind of thing, but I can't find one here locally. So I'm having a hard time getting the axle out of there because you have to pull the axle before you can pull the brake drum off to get to the brakes uh, and fix them. So this is turning into an ordeal for me. Uh, I don't have experience with dump trucks and things like that. So uh, it's a learning experience for me, which is great. I, I kind of like it. But, and you know, of course, if you've been watching our videos, you know I love doing things with my hands and, you know, stuff like that. So uh, I like learning. This is fun, but it's very frustrating. What makes things frustrating out here on any of these projects and getting things done is either you're, either you can't find uh, what you need, uh, you know, tools and things like that. They're just not available in this remote area. Or... You order them and you wait two weeks for them. Uh, you know, I waited, I think, three weeks for just uh, an O-ring, a couple of O-rings and seals uh, to go in Dyna's steering so it wouldn't leak anymore. So, you know, that's the kind of thing, it's the kind of frustration we run into in here. And it's not like, it's not like, you know, because it's a specialty item, it's not like you have an O-ring kit laying around here you can just throw one in. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it takes takes longer to get stuff done. You know, it's not well, like we have the shop or a garage or something like that to work in. We're just out there in the blistering sun, you know, doing stuff all day. Well, in terms of difficulty, um, we think we have all of the tools for, you know, for example, Dumpy. We think that we have what we need. Then, you know, with our lack of knowledge and experience, not knowing that you need a special square socket, for the tire, for the dump, yeah, and uh, stuff like that. Um, we could have probably headed that off a little by watching a video. However, we didn't. We just assumed that it was like any other tire. Mm -hmm. And so then again, you have to go to town, which anytime you go to town is two. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the you're, you're gone for at least a couple two, hours, two or three hours, mm -hmm. um, unless you, you know. And we always try to plan things all on one day. Um, so we can only go to town once or twice a week instead of you know daily, but, but just different things like that yeah. is you know trying to coordinate your trips to town and trying to get when you plan a project know every kind of tool you're going mm -hmm. to possibly need. Yeah, we so. try to anticipate and plan for that, and we try to get everything in place that we can. But it seems that there's always something mm -hmm. As, uh, or a number of things or some. You know, uh, uh, or you know, you discover something else that needs to be done. Uh, like uh, that last week, Dinah started springing a leak on a hose that was right near the exhaust manifold on the engine, and I thought, mm. boy, if that thing starts spewing hot oil, hydraulic oil all over the you know exhaust manifold, 
I mean, it may not cause a fire, but it could. And so, you know, I'm thankful that we have the original Dyna here. We can pull hoses off of. I happen to have a hose that was handy here that I could put in there. But it's that kind of thing you don't anticipate, you know, needing. I can't keep a full set of hoses for Dyna here. I just don't know which ones are going to blow next. Um, <clears throat> and that would be too expensive to do. But I have a few here that I can use. You know, that kind of thing. We, we try to use what we have when we can, but there's just not a lot that we have here yet. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it makes it challenging. It's, on a positive note, we're making progress towards the goals we had in place for this summer <laughs> very slowly, but mm -hmm. at least we've started and we're moving forward. On a positive note, we're eating well because <laughs> we have a good pantry that's stocked full of stuff. We have everything we need. Um, we have water and sunlight, which powers everything we do. By the way, if you're new to our channel, we're off grid, totally. And we, we depend almost 100% on solar power for our living here. Solar power pumps our water uh, out of the well. It provides all of our light, internet access, um, and Wi-Fi, all of our computers. This camera is batteries are charged by, from the sun. Um, the cement mixer is run by the sun. Almost every tool we use here uh, has batteries uh, or uses electricity is provided by the sun. And if you're interested, please check out our videos on Buzz, our mobile solar generator. Um, we have a video upcoming, of course, where we add turbine power, wind turbine power to, to Buzz to supplement it. But uh, yeah, I mean, we live off grid, except for a little bit of propane that we use for cooking and sometimes heating water. That's it. Yeah, isn't that right? Yes. Well, and then gasoline, of course, for the vehicles and I think the chainsaws. Yes. So. Another positive thing is that um, we're able to see another summer here and compare it. Now we have something to kind of compare it to last summer and, and stuff like that. We're looking forward to our first winter. Yeah. We're stocked and ready. We've got plenty of firewood. So. Another thing is, another, <laughs> another good thing is I have potatoes growing. And, of course, I'm going to have to snip the tops off to get them to be able to be harvested before it turns into freezing cold temperatures. That's a good thing. Now, now explain that. Why do you have to snip the tops? You, you have to kill the tops off to make the potatoes Heart, uh, skins thick in them. Yeah. So thankful for Dinah running. Uh, she doesn't run 100%. She has good days and bad days. But we can use her, which is good. That's mm -hmm. real good. Because uh, it's, been a, it's been a monkey on my back uh, all summer long. And uh, so glad to at least have it running where we can sort of use it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Homesteading Hardway again and the Thomas Schmidt Homestead Projects uh, channels for help uh, with Dinah, been very valuable. Um, we have the trailer now, which is great. We have a place to store stuff because it was all stored in the shouse before, and we had to make room for the wood stove that's coming. Uh, so we had to get that set of shelves with tools on it and stuff out of the way and move it into here so that we had extra room in the shouse for the uh, wood stove. So that's we're looking forward to that and I personally am looking forward to winter here um, it's supposed to be really ugly really cold and uh, we'll see how it goes but I'm not afraid of cold weather I, I kind of prefer it to hot weather but it's gonna be really cold it's gonna be really cold so anyway mm. we'll see what kinds of things we can get done in the cold we have uh, you know some projects coming up of course we broke ground on the house pad, and so we'll be digging that out. Uh, we've got to get a septic put in still. Uh, we have to finish the solar setup for our off-grid Wi-Fi, and also well. Well, just all kinds of stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Take care. Bye. That's a good robot. Are you just going to make this update video?